You know, we have a saying in my field that you can tell the age of a person by the droop of their seat. If you do this next series on a regular basis, you could look 16 from behind. Let's do it in a way that is compatible with someone who's had knee surgery. That This we will call level one. So we're going to rest on our stomach, reach the right arm out, and lift the left leg right up to the hip off the floor. As we pull the arm in, we're going to contract and pull the leg in. Notice that in the buttocks and the back of the thigh. As we come out, we're going to extend and try and stretch those hamstrings to give a good range of motion, and that's protection against trauma to the base of the spine if you do make an awkward movement. And contract, increasing circulation in an area of the body that we cut off circulation when we sit. And then we're going to reverse and do that to the other side. But instead of um, just reversing sides, let's try the more advanced version of this move if you do not have limitations as far as your knee is concerned. So we'll do the same side, except I'm going to extend my leg out and I'm going to extend my arm out. You'll notice when you're doing this with me that this requires a certain amount of balance. So it's a balance improvement move at the same time. I'm going to pull the leg in, notice the toning in the buttocks, and press the arm out and pull in, press out, exhale, inhale, great, keep going, and now let's stretch out that area that we've just worked so hard, and this is a tough one, lift that leg higher, and higher, and higher, and higher, and hold it there, if you can't sit down tomorrow, you'll know who to blame. Seriously, you shouldn't over-exercise. Your muscles should talk to you the next day, but not scream at you. Let's stretch out the spine and the buttocks that we worked so hard. Coming all the way back. Great. And, not wanting to be lopsided, let's move to the opposite side. Ready? My other arm is out. My leg is out. We're going to pull in. Press out, and for those with knee problems, do exactly what I'm doing, but do it from a prone position. In other words, stretched out on the floor the way I demonstrated level one at the beginning. Inhale, exhale, and now to really challenge the buttocks, lift up, higher, higher, higher. You can do it. Feel that in the glutes, all the way up. Hold it there, straighten that leg, stretch out the hamstrings, and come down and stretch out the area that you work so hard. Remember, a stretch, in order to be beneficial, needs to be held for a minimum of 15 seconds. But let's say you really don't have a venue like this to work out. How can you tone the glutes? One last move. Sit on an imaginary chair, tighten and relax, grip, release, grip, release, grip, release, and do as many of these as you want to.